soon after we started making music. So, you know, we just turned into really good friends and brothers and just uh, people with kind of the same type of mindset of what we wanted to achieve. So it's just like to anybody, just run with your idea and keep running, you know. We were speaking about everything, life, you know, relationships, the world, design, music, influences. Mm -hmm. We were speaking about everything so openly and so comfortably, like, regardless of, oh, yo, that's not cool, or, that doesn't make you man enough, you know, it's, yeah. it's like, it's all just like It's about what we liked instead of what we didn't like. Yeah, it's exactly. Always, it's always been like that. When I really moved to Toronto, because I'm, I'm born, like, I'm born and raised, like, outside of Toronto, I loved how uh, vast the music network was, you know, you, there, there was, like, a real DJ, network, there was live bands, there was jazz, there was everything. It's not like, oh, this guy's a skater, he can't hang with this guy who's a rapper, yeah. he can't hang with yeah. this guy who's a rocker. I feel like people in Toronto don't view people like that. Mm -hmm. I don't think every artist necessarily has to be a style icon, like that's not everybody's yeah. aim, but one thing I'm in love with as an artist and, and connecting music and style is being on stage and having a stage outfit. You know, I think that's like one of the most mm -hmm. important times where you can express your style. Yeah. It's like, no, like right now, I'm wearing what I feel good in and I feel comfortable in. But when I'm on stage, that's where I'm gonna express myself musically, vocally, mm -hmm. physically, and a little more. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever you feel comfortable in is what you should wear. It doesn't yeah. matter, you know, what people tell you, what you should be doing, you know. I think do your own thing and be confident. And, and that becomes it looks, thing, yeah. it looks good. Like, yeah. Anything can look good. Yeah.